Ooh, a planeswalker. What's up, folks? Welcome to hashtag early access stream here. So we're going to be doing a draft, talking through stuff. Got to take a planeswalker, right? Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Mm, giddy up. Here we go. What does Jace even do? It plots some stuff. Well, we're going to take it, probably. Um, Outlaw Stitcher is very good. We just got wrecked by LSV with this. Uh, Skewer the Critics, fine removal spell. Outcaster, Green Blade. It's small, but I think it's still good. And Skullduggery. And even though if Stitcher, Stitcher might be better, but like part of the point of early access is let's get our hands on a Planeswalker and see what's up. You know, let's get our hands on a Mythic and certainly on on Watsy's early access. Thank you for the loaded account, etc. Dollar. Let's check this out. So can't cast it. During your first, second, or third turns, but uh, plus one to loot, plus one, you can exile a non-land card with mana value three or less, and then what? Till end of turn, whenever you cast a spell, copy it. Yeah, it doesn't seem that good. It doesn't seem that good, but we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if the Stitcher was better. Slickshot Lockpicker. Pretty sweet follow-up. Rush of Dread is also a card I'm interested in. Like, there's going to be huge variability with this as a... It's not really even a sweeper, right? They sack half their things rounded up, and then there's other um, spree effects as you move up from there. I think we're just going to take Lockpicker, which is a, uh, is a Snapcaster Mage variant. And then of the commons, probably Patient Naturalist or Mystical Tether. Um... Yeah, we'll just take Lockpicker here. I, another card that we just got uh, pretty wrecked by from LSV was Lazav. I was impressed by the toughness here. I kind of just want to take Prairie Dog. Blue-white is the don't cast spells from your hand life, and we have it on the soundboard. Dad, I'm Prairie Dog in it! So we're going to go ahead and take that. Um... Trained Aranx, Forlorn Flats. But yeah, we're going to take Prairie Dog. Two mana, two, two lifelink can grow. Mana sink. Um, so yeah, we'll take that over Lazav, I think. Um, if we want to take a blue card, we're taking Stop Cold, which I think is fine. Though Loses All Abilities is also pretty relevant. Um, I think Spinewood's Armadillo as fixing is nice. I think at knife point could be pretty sweet for Rakdos. And I also think there's just Patient Naturalist. So I think of the green cards, I like the Armadillo the best. Yeah, Stable Master, also a good shout. I think I like the Armadillo better. It's possible I should just take Stop Cold. But yeah, a lot of green in this pack um, that I am going to just see what's up. With the uh, with the armadillo. Oh wow, a Stitcher pick five. Let's go. That's awesome to see. So this is the four mana one four. When ETBs, you make a two two blue and black zombie rogue creature token. And then you put two counters on that token for each spell you've cast this turn, other than the first, as plot for four and a blue. Um, really nice. Other blue cards. This town ain't big enough. Listen, stranger. This town. So there's that, um, sort of a like run away together slash bounce two things. There's stop cold again. Inventive Wingsmith, I guess if we end up in the blue white, not on my turn or not from my hand archetype, but yeah, definitely taking the stitcher. Uh, ooh, I mean, I do, do want to try to commit some crimes with the Raven. I don't love Inventive Wingsmith. Seize the Secrets, I guess, is a good one for Lockpicker. What does this do? Search library for a card, then put it on top. Target player draws three cards, loses three life. No. Oh, yeah, we also have... Jolene, 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 Jolene. Um, I think I'm going to take Raven. This is probably wrong. Like I probably should just take Wingsmith or Seize. Um, but I'm, I'm going to take Raven see what's up 
Uh, ooh, and there's a rakish crew and a desert stew as a follow-up. Tiny Bones joins up. When it enters the battlefield, any number of target players each discard a card. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under control, no, that card is nothing. Shackle Slinger seems pretty underpowered. I think Rakish Crew is great, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should take... I think I just want to take Desert Stew, to be honest. It's a good spell to get back with our Lock Picker. Yo, whoa. Okay, Metamorphic Blast and Lone Shark being here is awesome. Lone Shark, I really like, but Blast is just nutso. This is very, very Mold Drifter-y. What does this do? Four mana, two, five. When deals combat damage to a player, you get that many additional upkeep steps after this phase. What? Okay, I don't understand what Obika is doing, but that's cool. Uh, yeah, I feel like Rakish Crew is not going to be a card you want to get into. Just like take as a good black card, you know? And now we have a Skullduggery, a Soured Springs, and a Vault Buster. And I guess a Figure on Death is good too. I think we'll take the land over Skullduggery, which I think would be my pick otherwise. So I guess, yeah, I think we take the land. I think that's right. Uh, Wield, Stop Cold, and Ambush Gigapede. Take a stop cold. Play one of those, I guess. Wow, and we wield Lazav and a Skullduggery. Okay, so blue-black it is. Sounds good. Even get an at knife point, which we could splash for. I don't think I want to play stop cold number two. So we'll take at knife point. There's stop cold number two. Okay, so feels like we found the open lane, which is awesome. And then we opened a red rare that looks good. What is this? Six mana, four, six haste. When it attacks while saddled, choose a non-legendary creature that's saddled at this turn and create a tapped attacking copy of it. That's pretty sweet. We're probably taking the land. What does Servants of the Singer do? Oh, and it has haste. That's pretty sick, too. Oh, repeat this process once. You do it twice. When this deals combat damage to a player, if you've committed a crime this turn, you can sack it if you do search up a card. I guess is there a world where I'm red? Where I go blue-red for Calamity? Probably is. And I guess Hypothesis is interesting, too. Calamity's nuts. I, I probably should have taken that. What does this do? Scry 2. Whenever another artifact with mana value 3 or greater enters the battlefield under control, you make a Karnstruct. What's with all these weird artifact cards? Ooh, a Scrambling? A blue card that makes your opponent scramble? Pretty good. Might just take Forlorn Flats. I don't like any of these cards. I mean, Journey to Nowhere is good removal. Take up the shield is a good trick. But I think I'd rather just take the land. Because we do have stuff, like, we care about committing crimes. So taking crime land seems good to do. Um, speaking of committing crimes, there's a Raven, number two. There's also Phantom Interference and Take the Fall and then potentially a Gem to Splash. My gut is that Interference is the pick. I would like to take Raven, though, as a bit of a let's see what's up. It could also wheel. Hmm. Maybe we take Raven and then one of the blue cards wheels. I kind of like the idea of just having, like, the Ravens makes all the crime lands better. Gosh, and then if I had taken the red card, we could have taken Vile Smasher, but then we're giving up on all that blue. 
think again I'm just going to take, certainly after having taken a second Raven, I'm just going to take a Crime Land. I mean, Crime Land with Raven is, that's a land that's dealing two damage to your opponent. It's a lot. And now we've got a white splash pretty locked up. Yeah, we could splash Prairie Dog, if we recall. Um, yeah, let's take the white land. There's a Rakish Crew and a Gigapede. I like Gigapede fine. I also like, like Rakish Crew with... Ravens is a bit a lot of burn, right? It's just how is stuff dying for us? I kind of just want to take Gigapede instead. I think Jin is probably too bad. Yeah, I'll just take Gigapede. Okay, there's Lively Dirge, which can currently get Stitcher. Or Lazav plus something. And there's a fake your own death and a buzzard. Gosh, I'm really gonna have to eat my hat about lively dirge. I think this is good here. Gets get back two ravens. Okay. Get back a third. I mean I know Vault Plunderer is better, but I think we just gotta do the thing here. I think we just gotta do the thing with Raven. Yeah, let's do it. For science, get a fake your own death over a Harrier Strix and nothing else. Happy with that. And we get a Servant of the Stinger. That's fine. Two mana, one, three, death touch. Yeah, so any on color, uh, like just, just one touches one of our uh, colors. And I guess a third stop cold that I'm not playing. Wow, Phantom Interference wield, as did Take the Fall. I think Interference is better, but it's pretty wild. Mourner's Surprise over the second Gigapede, I think. Creature count's pretty low, but I think we take the Surprise here. Wow, and Rakish Crew wield. Yes, countering a spell is a crime. Oh my gosh. Our opens really wanted us to be read this draft, huh? It's a dang shame. This is just like nothing for me here other than like splashing gem. Or scrambling with a thunder thief. Put a plus plus one counter on target creature. It can't I guess I guess scheme is removal. Take scheme, I guess. Not happy about that. Oh, good. More red cards. Oh, okay. Um, take that over ashes. If we had been black red. If we had been black red. But I don't have a crystal ball. so And also, it's, my, it's day zero. So we, we all just need to relax. Take Shoot the Sheriff over Consuming Ashes. Hey, what are you? You're an on-color rare. Three mana, one, one, ward two. You can look at the top card of your library anytime. The top card of your library has plot. The plot cost is equal to its mana cost. You may play non-land cards from the top of your library. Or plot non-land cards from the top of your library. That seems sick. Is that better? Nah, that's we just definitely want to do that. Mystic Snake, let's go. Unscrupulous Contractor, nice. I mean, yeah, it's this is just think of it like an enchantment. It's not like affecting the board, but that's okay. 
I think, maybe, kind of, sort of. Take on Scrupulous Contractor here over... Nothing, yeah. And then we've got another Stitcher and another Raven. Am I allowed to take another Raven here? I think I am. And by I think I am, I think, I mean, I'm just going to do it. I came here to cast, I came here to cast Ravens and Chew Gum and I'm all out of gum. For science, let's see. Um, what is this? Tyrant Scorn. That commits a crime. Let's do it. I would like one more crime land. Uh, binding negotiation, I guess. Because this commits a crime. Though I guess Seize is also good for me. I guess Seize is better. Yeah. And a Skullduggery, that's great. Um, probably not splashing any white here. Wow. Slickshot Vault Buster, probably not. We're going to have to do some real, like, Peeping. I'm probably not playing Mourner's Surprise. We'll play Dirge. I guess this is playable, maybe? Kinda, sorta? Well, last pick, take up the shield. Um... Do we play this town ain't big enough? That's a question. Probably not. So interference is a two effectively. This is probably going up there. Scheme is a three. Man, Jace is gonna be bad. Unless it's not. but it's probably going to be really bad. Eleven creatures. Who needs more? Who needs more than that? All right, let's give this deck a shot. All right. Well, there's a raven. But no black mana, I do believe, means we must send this back. And now keep this ship stop cold. Dirge finds birds. It's true. Hey, there's the juice. Dead Eye Duelist. Okay. Hey, there's one. Drop Lazav. I will prob. Well, let's see. I'm sorry, what is this? It's just dead. That's good. Blue? Hmm. I just have to kill this. I can't get greedy and like I could so I could play Jason loot and try and get a land. I could 
attack and fake, but they probably don't even block. I think we just destroy. It's turn four. So I, I could have played Jace. They play Rodeo Pyromancers, okay. And now we'll Jace plus get rid of Oh, they're both outlaws, huh? Kind of like getting rid of Raven and then getting back to, like, finding a Raven and getting back both next turn. And holding up fake your own death now. Voracious Varmint. All right. Scorching shot. What's what what's annoying is that it comes back tapped, so we're gonna lose Jace. But we will get to double dirge. We could have killed the varmint. Oh, and Lazav survived. Yeah, we could have killed the varmint and had Lazav be a 3-6. Oh. Wait, why are you you want to commit a crime here instead of kill Jace. Okay. That's fine, I think. Oh. Oh, my. Um, plus. Yep, loot that away. I think we keep the land for looting and burn the treasure. Man, I was all set to get Raven back, but I'm not even sure that's good. It might just be Stitcher. I think it's just Stitcher. Uh, okay. Drover Grizzly, okay. Ouch. Jace getting burned here. This free looter just doing work right now. This is an extremely unimpressive game. Memory Vessel. What does this do? Each player. Oh, this is Memory Jar. Exile the top seven cards of their library until your next turn. What? Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it's just like fixed memory jar, so it's not very good, right? Okay, you're attacking me. I 
I assume they put Lazav first and then we can blow him out. Jace is doing it. I'm just going to vessel here, huh? Okay. Mind slaver? Do what now? Wait, what? <laughs> They're going to bounce Jace. Okay. What? Uh, so we'll stop cold mind slaver. Oh yeah, we could always uh I don't even know what that modal thing does, but I'm gonna get to do it, right? So we... Commit a crime here. Let's exile tower party library, put a counter against trample. So we do this, yes. And then... Put you on top and then kill Rodeo. Wow, they almost mind slavered us how rude jace loot four five six seven eight all right Playing against Alex. See if we can commit some Cordo crimes. Let's go. Double Raven in the opener. Crimes abound. Kaka! Don't touch it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you dare. <sighs> brutal. It's brutal. Could have had something there. Oh, well now I think we... Raven Springs. God. Just imagine, though, he could be at 17 instead. Our hand is full of crimes. Came here to chew gum and commit crimes. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. Uh, ooh.
One three death touch. Jace. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna plot. Uh, Because I don't actually want to loot away anything. Is there a trample trick? Oh, Skull Dug. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, draw a card. Kaka. That's a crime right there. Cactarantula. Oh no. It's actually quite hard for me to interact with. I can bounce it. He's going to draw, but like... Nice. Uh... Oh, we're at six loyalty, sorry. I am thinking about the mistake that I made of sequencing some removal spells. So, Desert Stew puts him to eight. Yeah, but this only triggers once each turn. So I can Desert Stew, put him to eight. Double Skullduggery. I don't, I don't want to do that. All right, we'll just go to my turn. Copy, do, kill. That's probably what I'm going to do. Oh. Now we basically win. Six. So close. So close. I guess I could have done that too. I could have just doubled, like attacked both, double faked. Well, we've already ultimated Jace. And by the looks of uh, folks in chat being surprised by it copying all spells. This is back for more. No, that's really bad. That's really bad. Ugh. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, Alex, no fun for us. 
Oh no. And if he commits a crime and gains life here, yeah, we lose. Ugh. No. Darn. So if I had fired off Skullduggery end of turn, but I didn't know I was drawing fake your own death. What does that do? Oh, that's the Dark Confidant. Yeah, pl plotting Skyrim's Tyrant's Scorn was very bad. Or not, or plotting shot to Shoot the Sheriff slash even just like, I still should have just probably used Tyrant's Scorn on the 2-3 instead of Shoot the Sheriff, but. Let's commit some crimes. No blue mana yet. Oh, think still better to have Lazav on three than have the Crime Land for Raven. Outlaw Medic Life Link. It's completely illegal. All right. Tack. Lazav. And a bunch of crimes. Mystical tether. Got to be careful with holy cow. That's true. Holy cow. Jace. Jace has not been shy. Bridled Bighorn. Okay. So right now I'm thinking about, so I'm going to go get a four drop. I probably just want to loot. Probably just want to loot. I can't get two, two Ravens. Yeah, loot into a Raven. Like, so now we could pitch Servant and go get Raven, which I like. fun and then crime and then attack all right i can't i can't believe how much i like lively dirge uh i'm so wrong about this card that's so stupid okay that was that was a sweet turn gin of fools fall okay I will kill your lifelinker, sure. No animation for death touch, that's true. Ooh, this is a card. Ooh, this is a card. Oh, Muldrifter, let's go.
Uh, target creature, target player. Crimes have been committed more ways than one. Bazinga. I will not. I will loot. Thibblethip, hello friend. Uh, hmm. I guess bin that and hold flats because of crimes. Let's go. Dur Dirge is the real overperformer. Oh no, Voxy. Voxy. So much swearing. Oh, that's a keep right there. Nice. Nice. All right. Nurturing Pixie. Ouch. Plotting Sheriff of Safe Passage, sure. Kaka. Prickly pear, my goodness, okay. Yup, that's a four four for sure. So hmm. I think we attack and then contractor. Ugh, tapped blue, hmm. Yeah, I mean, if she can kill Contractor here, we're pretty screwed, but we were going to be be like that anyway. Block there. No, you don't have any tricks. No, you don't. Quick draw McGraw, okay. Ugh. Not an untapped blue, huh? So, can kill the prickly pear. Or no, I can kill, yeah, I can kill the prickly pear. That's it. Trying to set up, I don't know. I can't even double spell with Stitcher. I could also play Swamp, get back a 3-2. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna springs and deserts do prickly pear. And then hope to draw skullduggery, I guess. Oh no, I can't even Skullduggery before Stitcher. So I guess hope to draw... No, I don't even know what. You don't have to choose. Oh no, oh no. do you have plus two plus O to the team? I would also... Oh, I don't know what that... Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Double untap all creature control if it's... Wow. Hold on, I want to see this. If it's your combat phase, there's an additional combat phase. Creature control get plus and plus one and gain first strike until end of turn. What an absolute beating if you have a board. Yeah. Rip. Rip and pepperonis, as the kids say. You know the problem with that? No Jace. Isaiah. All right, the, the opponents are flowing. I might, uh, I might play more than five games with this. I might break my own rule. Okay. Uh... Sand actually stinks. It like has a bunch of cheap stuff, but almost nothing that does anything. Can't cast this. 
I'm going to keep her on the play, but like, yikes. It is color, yeah, colors and our, our, and mana. If we draw, if we draw anything that's castable, you are, you're, you're in for it. Mobile Homestead. Okay. I can kill that. What is this? Has hate whenever it attacks, look at the top card. Yeah, okay, not, not good. Not good. Not great, Bob. Rambling Possum. Uh, we're just going to Deserts do this. Nice. And then... Probably stop cold the possum. And then lively dirge are one four. Yeah. It's a lot of lands. Maybe drawing two is now better because they can't. Yeah, maybe that's true. Wow. A double off color desert. But the thing is, is like, I'm going to want to kill this. I'm going to need to deal with this at some point, like a four or five. Though I guess bl and blast can't. I think I'm going to just do this. Could be bad, but let's do this. Oh, I almost want to get Thibble Thip. But yeah, we'll just get Stitcher. Okay. What's looking pretty good here? Seven, seven, yeesh, yeesh. Yeah. Gets plus three, plus two, and gains trample. It'll then be an O one, one right? Or do I have to do this now? Base power and toughness O one. one So we want to do this. Don't I just want to do this? They won't attack. I can just Skullduggery it, though. That's that's my plan, is to use Skullduggery. I just don't anticipate, like, yeah, I could save Skullduggery. I just don't anticipate Skullduggery is going to do a ton. And it's not like I'm getting 
I mean, I'm, I'm being obliterated by, wow, and you still want a desert. Why? Why would you still want a desert? Ooh, that's a nice draw. Okay. Attack. Max Stitcher, draw two, lose two. There he is. What up, buddy? Like, do we anticipate? Maybe we wait one turn. There's just no way that Phantom Interference is countering anything. No, we're just going to Jace. And plus here. And hold up fake. Nice. Holy cow. Okay. It's pretty rude. Yeah, fake on contractor is going to be sweet. Well, and lock picker on dirge. Okay, ouch. Yep. Armored armadillo. Oh, you wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. Uh, plot. You. Servant. And then flash in a 2-2 two -two flyer to trade with Holy Cow. Take up the shield. No, that doesn't do it. No. It's indestructible, not protection okay hmm allo alchemist getting the plus here Block, block. Rakdos joins up. Return target to guard from graveyard to the battlefield with two additional counters. Wow, that's large. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I could just lock picker. I'm going to plus Jace first. Pitch a land. I think we're just going to lock picker Dirge. Or uh, lock picker um, Deserts do. So we do this. Lock picker. Yeah, I think so. I 
So fake your own death on lock picker would be sweet in response to the armadillo. Whenever a legendary creature you control dies, yeah, okay. And then I could draw f draw two. I think we say yes. Let's go, uh, you. Fake your own death has been impressive. Plus. Jay's kind of doing, like, I don't know. Jay's kind of good. Outlaw Stitcher, not so much. Chase kind of good. Trained Erinx, okay. Oh, baby. Uh, sure. Beautiful. Raven, Sheriff, crimes being committed. <laughs> ah, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> holy cow. Okay. All right, four one. I will. I will stick to my my rule of uh, retiring a deck after after five games in the early access event. Or no, for not four one, three two, three two. Um, because oh, we lost to Voxy's Boros nonsense. Um, my takeaways so far from that are that Ravens are real and Jace is real. And I, I owe Lively Dirge a, a large, large apology. Um, yeah. All right. Sweet. Thanks for watching, everybody.